because I know with Bobby Barlow here to sing a tune, he was jolly, and I always asked him to sing because I, I always wanted, tried to be jolly, didn't want to be sad all the time. Right. <laughs> and he had made a little ditty of his own. You didn't know Bob Barlow for it, did you? That is old Bob. I bet you not one of you fellows knew that he's a pretty good poet. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and his little ditty <laughs> he made. God, I used to, I used to know for kick on him because there was no way out here, you know, Miller's Grove where the picnic ground was. Yeah. <laughs> and, and get him, get him organized, boy. He, mm -hmm. he was made. Uh, how was it? I was just going to sing it for him. This fellow, you give him an idea of what. Mm -hmm. I was invited to a raffling of a stove, and Charlie Miller's children ate at Charlie Miller's grove. The Grumleys and the Bryans, they all come in a drove to shake the dice and do it nice and try to win the stove. I got laughed. It's going to spoil the whole name. At four o'clock in the evening, the raffle it began. Jim Grumpy drunk six foot high when sixty four was one. A Brian hollered murder when a brick had closed his eye. With dancing and carousing, then that night away. Oh, it's right and left and forward for the music it did play. Oh, wasn't it fun to hear that? See that night those Irishmen so gay. I never laughed so hearty in the course of all my life, seeing Nelson lively a dancing with his wife. <laughs> At four o'clock in the morning, the raffle it was o'er. Joe Mason he got staving drunk and tore away the door. <clears throat> Jim Grumley with a bottle had all the windows bow, till Charlie Miller collared him to light up the tea with Joe. Right and left and forward for the music it did play. Oh, wasn't it fun to see that night to our Eastman so gay? I never laughed so hearty in the course of all my life to see Nelson Lively a dancing with his wife. His relatives are the end of the year in the house.